In this video, I'm going to go over this product called Fleek. I'm going to set up an account and actually create one of these things that they call Fleek so you can see what it actually does. I think you're going to be impressed. It could really help you if you're making support tutorial videos and, and any kind of images in your business. So, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is David Ferguson with TechSmart Boss here with another video. I'm going to do a deep look at this product called Fleek. F-L-E-E-Q dot I-O is the website. And they're doing something a little different. And you know I like to talk about different things. So uh, as you can see here, they're going to allow you to create training videos basically support videos but they're not videos they're fleeks and that's what's kind of hard to get your head around uh, the best way to do it is just kind of to show you so i'm going to just hop from their website straight into an example and what you're able to do with fleek is take screenshots and upload them into fleek have it auto narrate your text or you could do your own voiceover you have your choice their their voices sound a little bit like robots sometimes but you can make these things let me go ahead and start this one while i'm talking you can make these support tutorials let's learn how to change your privacy settings on facebook so you hear how that sounds a little robotic they Begin have different by voices clicking on the menu located at the top right corner and it's going to take you step click by on step the settings. Let me go ahead and pause. It's going to take you step by step and allow you to have these, you know, narrated PowerPoint slides in essence, but it's not a video. Now you can export it to video. You can do all sorts of automatic or custom narration. You could do all these effects. Um, so it's kind of like a combination of PowerPoint and video and Camtasia and everything all mixed up into one. And it took me a while to kind of think about the use cases, but I'll tell you a couple things that, that kind of pushed me over the edge is they allow you to automatically translate these into other languages. So as a support organization, in my case, where I support customers in, you know, Spanish speaking countries and French speaking countries, I have a customer uh, that speaks Dutch now and, and our product is, is multilingual. I'm able to now create support tutorials to show them how to use our product and have it automatically translated into um, other languages. And you could then take them and make them and embed them and put them in emails and, and put passwords on them. And they got all kind of cool features on how you can share these fleeks. So I'm, I'm just going to jump in and make one. I'm going to log in and sign up for a new trial here and show you that process. We're going to make one. I actually have some screenshots that we're going to put together for a video. So let's go ahead and set up an account. I'm going to go ahead and set this up in my business account. We're going to do one specific for my product called Yerby. And now I'm not going to use that suggested Safari password. So don't think you can go out there and try that one. Let's go ahead and sign up for this trial. Now I'm going to pause for a second and go out here and verify my email and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I verify my email, and the first thing it takes me to is to set up your Fleek domain. Now, you can change this later. It tells you this. They also support, depending on your business, on your plan, you could do a custom domain. Um, for now, I'm just going to put in Yerby on that to continue. And now it's setting up what they call a team, which is where all my Fleeks that I create will be on this particular team domain yerby.fleek.io so let's see what happens i'm on this trial and I'm, I'm in there so they give you all sorts of demos and things like that and you know before we explore too much i'm just gonna actually create a fleek i mean it's just that simple you can go right into it so let's go ahead and start one um from scratch and what i did to kind of make this a little bit easier is i'll uh go over here to my finder on my desktop to minimize some folders is I made uh, I, I took screenshots of about a nine step process in my product and I've already created some narration text that I can quickly copy and paste in so we don't have to you have to see me typing uh, in this video so now let's answer these questions what type of narration will you want on this fleek well I'm gonna do auto and then take a look at this. They have all sorts of languages here. Now, you know, I've heard that some of the foreign languages sound a little weird. I mean, even some of the English languages, some of them are a little robotic. Um, they do have choices. So we'll take a look at that. Let's go ahead and start. And it's, it's a really simple process. Watch this. It's going to add a step. I'm going to go out there and upload 
one of those images that I created. Let's upload image one. There we go. And there it is. Let's go ahead and select that. Add one step. And now you'll see my fleek is in there. Now what I can do in this editor is I could fit the screen because what I want to do is highlight this little selection menu over here. I've got expanded in this image. I can add an effect. You can see here I can do spotlights and arrows and all those kind of things in this fleek. I like my spotlights to be circular. So let's click on that. And you'll see here you could change color and all that sort of stuff here. And then I can put my spotlight right there where I want the user to focus on. Now the next thing that I can do is take my text. Let's go ahead and copy that text and come over here. Now you'll see here I can paste this text in there just like that and do a little preview. Now I've got Matthew from the US. Let's hear what Matthew sounds like. From the library, select schedule from the action menu. That's not bad. Um, so I'll show you a little bit later where I can change Matthew out. Uh, I can do some captioning, but I'm going to just let the captioning mirror from my narration and um, no transition yet because I haven't added any extra steps. And that's it. So now let's go through and do a couple more. So I'm going to make a fleek here. Let's pick image two, add image two to my step. Let's go over here and get my text that I created for image two. And um, I'll put that here. I don't really need any effects on this one. Let's go ahead and add another step. So this is the process. Now they also give you a Chrome extension that you can use to take your screenshots as you go through. Um, you know, there are some limitations to the Chrome extension right now. For example, you'll see in this image, I want to capture a drop down. The Chrome extension doesn't let you do that as of now. So that wasn't a great fit for me. Uh, this is one where I probably do want to add an effect. Uh, and let's just do um, a different one on this one. Let's do an indicator. See all sorts of indicators here. Let's pick the little mouse motion type of thingy. And you'll see you can kind of drag it on where you want to drag it. So you see how I did that? Let's add one more step. We'll add one more step, and then we'll just go ahead and build this, even though the entire process is not complete, because I want to go on and show you some other things in this uh, tutorial. So now let's add our narration of this one. Now, you'll notice it's auto saving for me. Let's go ahead. I just like to kind of, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I like to save things. I'll call this scheduling uh, report and save that. And then we'll be able to continue to edit it. That way I won't have any unfortunate uh, issues. So we'll give this a second to finish saving process. Now, it doesn't actually compile it. So while you have your fleek and you can embed it and put it on websites and put it in knowledge articles and they give you um, knowledge bases as well, you'll see here. If I ever want to come in here and change this, I can swap out. You can see here I can move, copy, clone. I can do all these things and bring in new screenshots. I can definitely add all the text and change the text. And it's going to automatically update that uh, narration. Now let's take a look at what else I can do while I'm making this fleek. Here are my narration choices. I can definitely record this myself and upload my own voiceover. I, I happen to like the way they do the auto narration. Look at this, I can replace that. And you'll see I've got a couple, I've got a male, I've got a female, I've got UK versions, things like that. I'll, I'll keep Matthew for now. You'll, you'll see I can change kind of some of the layouts, how the text rolls in. You'll see that as we go through. I can set up a thumbnail so I can pick my own thumbnail and colors. There's some branding. You can put kind of put your branding and stuff. Now, some of the branding depends on the, the package that you're on um, in terms of white label and things like that. And then this is what I really like is at the end of your uh, fleek, you can do some call to actions. And, you know, we always like to, to do that. So, for example, I can say request a demo as an example and redirect that to my demo subscription page and say open that in a new tab and you'll see that I can request feedback or not now some of this again to, to turn off the feedback or enable the feedback is um, uh, something that depends on the plan you're on as a trial they're probably giving me access to more of the advanced plan features and then if you wanted to enable like a paywall where somebody's got to put their email address in before they can see your fleek you can do that as well
which is which is a great thing for lead generation uh, as well. So now I've got a fleek. Let's go ahead and um, take a look at it here. And that's how fast this is. So let's save it. I didn't make any changes at that point, but let's go ahead and do a save. I clicked on that share button. And you'll see here that I'm going to get a direct URL to that fleek. And I haven't set up my custom domain yet, so you'll see it's yerby.fleek.io with a lot of things behind the scenes there. I can also, um, you know, start to get some analytics on and some statistics you'll see on people who are looking at it. I can embed it on a website. I can put it in an email. I can add it to the knowledge base that they provide you. So there's a lot of things I could do. What I'm going to do is just preview it. Let's uh, go ahead and hit that eyeball there. Let's take a look at our fleek, and you'll hear that all that text I copied in is going to be auto-narrated. From the library, select Schedule from the Action menu. The Scheduler Wizard appears where you can select a starting date, time, and frequency of delivery. Frequencies include daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly, or minutes for alerts. Click Next once configured. In this step you can define the recipients of the reports. By default your user ID is added. Click Next once all recipients are added. And there you go. And you'll see my request demo button. I can click that and launch out. I can replay. I've got feedback here. But that, that was pretty quick to do something. And the nice thing about it from my perspective is I can always go in there and edit it. Now, this is what's really slick. And this is, this is again, that multilingual, that localization that I talked about. I can come here to this fleek. So I've got my fleek here. I've got four steps. I can go in there and edit that and add more. It's not complete at this point. Uh, you know, they don't. It, there, there's limits on exporting. So when you go to export, you're only allowed to export so many per um, month, and the duration of the export is limited because in their mind, the fleek should be online, and it's a different type of. It's not a video. It's not something that you necessarily download as a video and take with you. But they do give you those options. I'm going to go ahead and localize this particular video. So let's click here, and you'll see that I can pick any of these languages to localize. Let's actually pick. Let's pick Spanish. I'll pick Spanish here. And uh, oh, wait, well, choose the original Fleek language. So actually, this one, my original language, this is English to start with. So now let's continue. So now it says choose the new Fleek language. So this is where I want to pick Spanish. So let's pick, and you'll see just a long list of languages there. And they're adding to this um, all the time. And do I want to auto translate it or do I want to? So I want to auto translate it. And I want to auto narrate it too. So I, you know, I don't know Spanish, so no need me trying to do this. I'm going to let them do it, and then um, we'll see how that turns out. I, I've already done this before, and it, I mean, it's pretty impressive how they can localize. Now we're done. Let's open the translated fleek and preview that, and you'll see that I didn't take any extra steps, and now I've got this support video uh, available in. So they want me to review it, but let's go ahead and preview it right away and take a look at the Spanish. Desde la biblioteca, seleccione Programar desde el menú Acción. Aparece el asistente del programador donde puede seleccionar right. una fecha de inicio. So I'm going to stop that. So you get the point. So that's a little bit of the power of how fast I was able to do this. So you can, you can imagine going through and creating, you know, fleeks. They do limit how many fleeks you can create depending on the plan that you're on. So it's really important to kind of take a look at that plan. And there's a lot of lot more stuff you could do here. Stats. There's a knowledge base. I'm not going to go too much into detail on that knowledge base right now. Appearance. I can go in here and put more of my logo and my colors up my custom domain, put my favorite con and things like that in those settings. You can invite users so you can have other teammates come in here and, and work with you and even set up multiple teams if you have if if you have the need to have multiple different custom domains and things like that. So Definitely an uh, interesting product. It's, it's something new. I had never seen this concept before, so I wanted to share it with you. And if you, you do like it, go out and take a look at fleek.io. And if you like these style videos, then subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. Uh, check out our Facebook uh, page. We're always always putting videos out there as well. And come on out to techsmartboss.com and sign up for our Facebook group, our newsletter, and all the resources that we're putting out uh, to help you find new technology to leverage in your business. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.